Hello Mr. Randy Duck and welcome back for another video. Today I've got three replays for you in the tier 10 Italian medium tank, the Centuro 45T. And yeah, recently I've done a video of this tank using the reverse auto loader. Um, and sort of as I said in that video, I would also do a separate video um, showing the single shot gun. Because obviously the tank does have two different gun options. So this video is featuring a single shotgun. Um, if you haven't seen the other video and you want to see how the tank does with the uh, auto loader gun, uh, the reverse auto loader gun I should say, that is on a video already on my channel. But this first replay here, we are on Great Wall. There is a, um, there's, there's quite a lot of tier eights and tier nines in this lobby um, and it's on Great Wall here. So there's no fun place to concern ourselves with. There is two enemy light tanks what I'm going to do initially is push up to this ridge where I can go hold down, try and use my turret armour and see if we can get any shots in. Um, so we're picking up on this ridge, you know, we've got a bit of support with us, so we're, we're, we're fairly confident, we're not all by ourselves. Um, and we're going to see what we spot, and we do spot an enemy chieftain, so we're going to get a nice early shot in, and there we do bounce off of the turret armour, because the turret armour is pretty effective when you are actually utilising that gun depression and putting a, you know, increasing the slope of the uh, tank. We get a second shot into the Italian tank, and this is where the single shot gun is a lot better than the auto Riola gun in this sort of situation where you're just constantly needing to fire your shot you might as well have the 7.2 second reload or the, the quickest reload rather than like the 10 second odd reload and the quickest reload on the reverse auto loader um, so when you're able to just keep fire your gun and you could arguably say the single shot gun is just the better gun on this tank but you know, the reverse auto loader, I, I, I've enjoyed it, you know, this is the thing, it's a little bit different where this is kind of more, unfortunately, like, for a tier 10 single shot gun on a medium, it's not really that great with a 67.2 second reload, because um, you also, you can't have the gun rammer on it, so it's, it, it's the DPM compared, compared to other medium tanks still isn't brilliant. Um, However, having said that, obviously, like I said in the other video, the actual feel to the tank is really nice. Like, it's got decent camo, um, and it's got good mobility, and it's got good hull armor. Um, sorry, good uh, turret armor. The, the, the hull armor can be a little bit bouncy as well on occasion, so the feel to the tank is good. It's just a DPM which does let it down. Uh, but you can see we get a shot into that E4 there. He get, quickly gets taken out, and now we're going to pay our attention to this Conway. Uh, we probably could have penned with the HE, but we, we don't want to risk it at this point. We're just trying to kill them as quickly as we possibly can. We do so picking up three kills, 4,000 damage, uh, and now we're hoping to get a shot into this enemy Borsig. We do damage in his engine there, but he does then get unlit. Um, so we're waiting for him to be spotted because it looks like he is aiming us. We go for a cheeky blind shot to see if he's still in that location. Um, but we're, we're struggling to get, we're still getting detected at this point, which is, I'm, I'm guessing there's either something else there, or it is that Borsig, which is lightness. But we've had a decent start to this game, we're not, you know, just shy of 5,000 damage. It is team destruction, so we don't have to worry about being capped out. We do kill the Borsig, now I want to try and pay my attention to where the rest of the damage is, which I assume is on the other side of the map near this hill. We're getting detected here, so I'm thinking there's probably something in front of us. There is, is an enemy light tier 100, so that's why we didn't spot him um, until very late. But we are still full health, so we're not too concerned. There's an enemy Yatsi with us um, with us as well, um, but we should be able to deal with these tanks in this situation. The Yatsi's coming to try and get a shot. I am a hold down, I do bounce a shot, and I put one in for a turn. Paying my attention to that light tank, just in case he tries to get side shots, but he seems to be... Um, distracted by the enemy tank destroyer on the low ground so he's why he's going to go and do that I'm going to push to kill this Yatsi because I want to get to the rest of the damage as quickly as I can which is because you can see on the mini map there on the other side of the map and I assume there is some tanks uh, probably the remaining tanks on the hill um, but I've got 6,000 damage five kills so I'm on for a top gun and at this point I'm thinking that if I can just get to that damage uh, quickly, I could you know potentially have a you know, really nice game here, uh, but I want to try and get to it you know, before it all gets evaporated. The enemy heavy is on full health. I'm not going to go behind the heavy tank just because if there is tanks on the hill, um, which 
there probably is. It's a, it's a good guess to say there is. They'll be able to get shots into us while we do that. Um, so I'm just going to push around here and then I can stay safe from the hill while getting shots into the enemy heavy tank. We are safe behind this rock. Uh, we get one shot in, we get a second shot in and then he gets evaporated, putting us into a 7 versus 3. We got just shy of 7,000 damage and 5 kills. There's 3 tanks remaining, the light tank we're not going to be able to get to, the other 2 tanks are on the hill. So we're forcing in as quick as we can, there's a friendly machine in front of us. I see an enemy uh, challenger, it's full health. Unfortunately for me, the machine is going to absolutely evaporate this guy. Um, so. I'm not going to be able to get as much damage out of this game you know, as I could. I could still try and get a top gun. The machine's on road, uh, reload. So I'm just going to try and push up and shoot this AV. You know, unless the AV completely full pens me, which you know, it is an AV, uh, I can potentially hit a splash shot and then take him out while he's on reload. Um, like I say, as long as he doesn't full pen me, um, being the completely balanced tank, which the AV is. Um, so we're coming up here, I, the AV you know, would be reloaded at this point but he's left his side on and I do have a shot and we pick up that top gun. Bring this then to replay number one. Uh, so let's just see how we got on. We managed to pick up six kills, just shy of 7,000 damage, 700 blocked. We don't get uh, much base XP there just because there was quite a lot of tier 8s in that lobby. Um, but yeah, that's it for the first replay. We have two more to come, so stay with us and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so here we are for the second replay of the video on Vineyards. We have one enemy fun police and two enemy light tanks in the game. Uh, one the southern spawn, it's a standard um, battle. So we're going to push over from this spawn where I like to go on the left hand side um, at the start see what we can spot you know see how many tanks are contesting this way uh, before we can then work out if whether we can push because ideally if I, if I can push I want to try and push to the ridge where they, that enemy tank has just been spotted so that I can then light the enemy team base up and get some assistance may get some damage um, on the enemy tanks which are camping in the base because there always will be uh, on vineyards some tanks um, camping in their base um, so I'm just trying to work my way to get to that zone so we get a nice shot there in the sharpshooter with how who did get caught out in the open uh, we push forward we get detected here we're probably going to take a shot thankfully we actually bounce that shot and then we also snapshot that leopard so that worked out pretty well in the end uh, picking up our first two shots of damage now at this point here there's not a lot contesting this this side on the left and I want to get aggressive and get under that ridge as quickly as I possibly can because then I can spot the enemy team up on their base and potentially pick some assistance up, pick some damage up and, and keep progressing uh, with this game. So, you know, we've had a decent start. We've not lost any hit points and we've got two shots of damage and the enemy team are starting to get a little bit squeezed. Um, we spot that enemy um, light tank there. We managed to pick up our first kill of the game and picking up another shot of damage. Spot T, well, an enemy T57 gets uh, spotted. Now, we unfortunately ricocheted that shot there because we're trying to not eat any in return. We don't let it fully aim. We go for a second shot and then we ricocheted again. But, you know, at least thankfully uh, we do bounce as well. Um, you know, this T57 can um, just shot three times now. So he's only got like one shot left probably or, you know, he's already dumped his clip and we should be able to farm this tank out. Putting herself onto 2,000 damage, um, 12 enemy teammates remaining, and then we do pick up the third kill. And as you can see, the enemy team are now kind of trapped in their spawn by looking at the minimap, you can sort of see where they are. Um, so I'm looking for a few shots before I start making my way over to try and spot the other, uh, the other side and maybe pick up some assistance. Um, bit of a poor shot here, um, to be honest with you, I could either try to pen the cupola or aimed a bit lower and actually tracked this fosh in place. Uh, we're trying to get the get kill here, now he goes blind but we kind of guessed where that tank was turning and still managed to pick up the kill. Um, and at this point I'm full, my plan is to full send, get underneath the enemy team's ridge if I can, because um, at that point I'm going to spot enemy tanks, I'm going to get assistance. So this enemy E100 has been spotted, there's a lot of hit points, uh, which is my spot, so I could potentially pick up quite a bit of assistance to spot in that tank if the enemy teammates behind me get shots in. So we do manage to start picking up the assistance there, getting 1000 assistance, 3000 damage 
of our own and now we're exactly where we wanted to be we're hold down so we can use our um, turret armor keep these tanks detected that's why i keep poking you know even when i'm reloading i'm poking just to make sure they stay spotted i want to get the assistance as long as I, you know for as long as those tanks are spotted in the open our friendly teammates are going to start aiming at them and hopefully i should pick up some assistance as i do racking up 2000 assistance there looking for a few shots we've got the ascension action x on our left uh, so we've got to be a little bit careful there but i've now pretty much picked up that whole um amount of assistance off that e100 enemy light tank comes from behind now the, the turret reverse turn speed in this tank is actually not very great um and and you do um you know, your tank actually turns quicker than the turret a lot of the time um and that, that light tank did manage to get behind me so it's not too much a problem i've got a lot of hit points i'm not going to force send to chase the light tank because then i could get shot in the rear by the tanks behind me but these two tanks you can see this tank spotted behind me in this mini map uh, but it's not a big problem because if I over peak they're going to get shot by our tanks which are actually giving me cover fire putting myself onto 4,000 assistant uh, we get a shot into enemy TD we get very fortunate there that he actually shoots our turret and that's why I said the turret armor can be quite good um, and we do bounce a shot there you know it's not going to bounce you know if you're on a flat surface and you know getting shot by a tank destroyer you're probably not going to bounce a shot off your turret but when you're using your gun depression and increasing the angle of your turret you are a lot more likely to bounce a, a shot there we get the kill on the artillery we're on 5,000 assistance 4,000 of damage there's only two tanks remaining and we do pick up the final kill there on the leopard bring this then to replay number two so a little bit of a different type of a game there we actually pick up a lot more assistance in this one we get five kills 4400 damage 5500 assistance so about 10,000 combined um and yeah that is it for replay number two but you know we saved the best of the last one final replay to come and i will see you there in a little bit okay so we've made it to the final video here on arctic region there is one enemy fun police in the game but there is no enemy light tanks to contend with in this game and from the start we're actually going to try and push and spot see if we can spot the cross towards their uh, spawn side um, and potentially manage to get some assistance get any damage on them crossing um, and we can also spot the hill from this location as well um, so that's that's the position you know considering there's no enemy light tanks i've decided to make this play because um, I do have decent camo in this tank and I've got fairly decent mobility as well so we get up here we're not getting detectives we poke up high and we spot one enemy tank here crossing uh, which is the enemy heavy tank we managed to punish him there getting some side shots in he's kind of realized that he's, he's not safe so he's going to need to get behind that rock um, we still haven't actually been detected there is one enemy tank on the hill but it's not over poking at the moment if they do over poke we'll spot them and potentially pick up some assistance off of that tank um, and yeah not a lot has crossed um, and we are not really spotting any tank destroyers which sometimes you can spot at the back um, but i'm kind of just waiting for to see if heavy tank is going to make a mistake he does pull back but he quickly gets back into cover and unfortunately i do miss that shot but he then moves out and he gets set on fire and I'm able to get a shot in there and hopefully he should get finished off, which he does by our friendly Conqueror. Um, and this is a bit of a weird one. You know, not a lot of tanks have been spotted there, so I'm guessing they're pushing the other side um, or they're probably camping or they're camping spawn. So I'm going to try and get round here and if they are pushing like the AB line where I think they're pushing, maybe I could get some shots in uh, into the rear of the tanks. But unfortunately for me, they've already broken through that side um, so i can't really push up where i was initially going to do and it appears there's quite a few of these tanks here uh, there's at least sort of five of the enemy team which is a little bit awkward i'm kind of conscious if i get detected they might just full send to try and kill me out of this location but i'm also thinking if they don't if they start pushing towards the base i can then get side cross shots um at the other you know, team like like if I was, you know, because if, if I reverse the spawn on the enemy team, I can get cross shots there, you know, when they're crossing. Unfortunately, though, um, this enemy pattern here is kind of spoiling my plans because he's popped up and proxy spotted me. I auto loaded that shot, and it, um, and, and unfortunately, I miss it. And the second shot was just terrible by me, and that's a shame because I could have almost killed that tank there. And that tank's a problem for me because. It's keeping me spotted, and I means I can't poke unlit, 
and shoot these enemy tanks while they're there. They're alert to my presence. I wasn't didn't want that. I wanted them to be able to cross and not know I was there, so they think they're completely safe, and then I can just punish them. But that medium tanks cause me a problem. Also, it's a problem is because now an enemy tank comes behind me off of their t t like their ridge. Um, I'm going to be in a cross shot between two tanks, so not ideal to be honest with you. I should have penned those shots when I had the chance, um, but it is what it is. I'm still looking for shots. We do get one into that heavy tank, but there, there, there's that pattern again. Every time I want him to poke, um, you're looking for shots on me. I'm conscious if someone comes behind me now, I can't face my tank to shoot both ways. I eat another shot there, but I do get another shot in, you know, as punish. I'm trying to punish to take the tanks crossing to try and help out our friendly team so we don't get capped out. Um, and now as we've got this pattern, which I really do want to try and get rid of. But at this point, I, I, I'm looking at that tank destroying that ridge. If that TD comes behind me, I'm going to be in a real bit of bother here. Um, and it's going to put me in a really awkward situation. So I'm constantly conscious of that. I'll swap to the small map so I know exactly what's happening. And as it look, turns out, the enemy grill does come behind us, puts a shot into us. And at this point, I'm thinking this game's done. You know, this is over because... I can't fight this grill with that pattern as well. So I push around here. The pattern does come round. Fortunately for me, he does miss his shot, which, you know, I would have died. I don't understand how I'm not dead here. He bounces a shot off our turret, so we're going to have to get another one in. We get one into the lower plate. The pattern should beat my reload and he should kill us, but the grill also should kill us because he's behind us. He just needs to poke and finish us. We managed to finish the pattern somehow. The grill's then coming in. I'm thinking, surely, surely this is over. He bounces off of our turret. I mean, <laughs> I'm just getting some absolutely god luck at this point. Um, now I'm trying to track him and play so I can get behind him. He's still on reload at this point. I reverse to try and um, you know, try and see if I can pull him forward. He does pull forward. Now I should actually be able to get behind the grill. And obviously it can't turn its turret. So at this point I'm thinking, how how have I just survived? Um, I have no idea how I survived. I've got the kill on the grill now because he can't get round in time. Because I managed to get behind him. And yeah... On 200 hit points, I've, I've somehow managed to kill a full health grill and that enemy pattern. So I'm not complaining, um, but I, I am pretty surprised how I managed to live out of that location. Now I want to go back to where I was and see if I can get the cross shots into the enemy team. Enemy Avery here is trying to say hold down and protect himself from the, the team in front of him. At this point, I'm... I'm it would look like this tank is AFK, and that's what I'm kind of assuming as I'm playing. I'm thinking, oh great, he's disconnected, but it's got some free damage here. But I think it turns out he is actually playing, um, but he's trying to say protected to the tanks in front or, or from the, on the fun police. I'm really not sure, but either way, I'm getting full shots in. Because you notice here, he does get rushed, and he does actually turn his turret there. So he was actually playing, but... Um, we do manage to get some uh, kill there. It was probably being pinned by the fun police and the tanks in front. Um, and we managed to get ourselves onto 7,000 damage and 4 kills. With a sliver of, of help left. But we still got a dream. We still want to get some more damage in. Um, it's the enemy S-Barn left and the enemy fun police. Both of which we can pen with the HE. Which will increase our DPM. Obviously being that we only have, you know, we don't have the best DPM. When we can pen with those HE shells we want to be penning of them with them to just boost our damage um i'm only on 99 hit points so yeah the, the dash bar uh, s barn splashes us yeah we're, we're dead um but we're just going to go for it we've got 7,000 damage we want to try and get more out of this damage game if we can we thought the s barn would be hiding up the top but he's not we get detected we immediately pull back we don't want to get shot uh, but then the enemy artillery takes a shot at us. He has fired, <laughs> so we should be able to get a shot in here. But we've got to be careful poking so we don't get hit by the S-Barn. But we have managed to get a shot. We pen our HE for 544. Um, and then we're hoping to get a finish on this artillery. If possible, we do picking up another kill. Putting us under just shy of 8,000 damage. It's just the S-Barn remaining. We're just trying to get a shot in there. He misses a shot, but now we know we're beating his reload. We know we're going to have to get the kill if he doesn't get kit. Well, get the, a pen if he doesn't get penned by a friendly team, and we do pen again with that he shell. So, yeah, <laughs> how I managed to come out of that one alive, um, I don't know. But we managed to pick up a decent game there. Five kills, just over eight thousand damage, two thousand assistance. So ten k combined, 
1000 a block we do get the ace tanker and the high caliber so that is it for the replay on the single shot gun so yeah my opinions of the two gun i would say the single shot gun is probably better if you want to be doing reliable damage if, if i'm honest i think it is the better gun having said that i actually quite like playing with the reverse autoloader i don't think it's as bad as the, the stats would say although it definitely does need a, a boost to dpm you know maybe allow it to use the rammer take a few seconds off of the uh, fourth shell and the third shell because you never get to fire them shells you know the, well, the fourth shell you never get to fire so i do think the, the reload's a bit unnecessary long but i do still like the second gun um so i do like that gun but anyway that is it so like i say if you want to see the, the look at the tank with the other gun i do have another video out of this tank so now i have two videos showing both guns um but as always your support has been amazing thank you thank you so much and happy tanking Oh, get